raise your drinks up casually. Raise your drinks, raise your drinks up, raise your drinks up casually. It's the Black Bourbon Family. Hey everyone, I'm Jason. And I'm Brandy. And we're the Black, Black Bourbon, Bourbon Family. Family. All right, Brandy. So today we have something very special. We have Barrel Companies Vantage. So Barrel is a K Kentucky based company mm -hmm. who are known for their blending expertise. Uh, we actually had the Barrel Seagrass. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> and although we never did a review on it, we enjoyed it. And as you can tell by the look on her face, Brandy really enjoyed it. Um, it was a rye, but it was like apricot and it was all types of different uh, finishes in it. Just, yes, all great goodness. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It was very good. It was very good. And so what we have today is Barrel Vantage. So Barrel Vantage is a bourbon finished in Mizanura. I made, let me, let me look at the name, Brandy. I was trying to say it all proper, but I, <laughs> I think I just jacked it up. Mizanura. Okay. French and toasted American oak. So Mizanara is a Japanese tree. French is just French <laughs> and American oak is American oak. Um, but it is a bourbon that is finished in those three different barrels and it, well, I'm not going to tell you, I was about to tell you what it provides, but we're going to just tell you during the review. Okay. All right. Um, the proof, I messed up again. The proof comes in at 113.54. So. You know, I, I think, I don't know about you, Brandy, but like once you establish a palette, you get into the barrel proof and the higher proof. I feel like the the teens is a good like sweet spot, sweet spot. You know, yeah, I think so, too. I mean, we enjoy the higher ones, J Jason. <laughs> See, so speaking that French, right? Yeah, right, right, right. <laughs> the French open. I do, I yeah. do. Um, Cause some higher proof don't taste or hit you as high as they are. Yep, yep. But I do like a good medium yeah. <laughs> <laughs> proof. Yeah. No, I hear you. Yeah, and but some do. Some of those higher ones are like they can hit you hard. Yeah. <laughs> Um, but Barrow sent us to uh, sent us this sample to try out. So thank you to the Barrow Company for sending us this. Um, as I mentioned, it comes 113 proof, and MSRP is seventy nine dollars, I believe. So, Randy, are we ready? We're ready. All right. All right. Hmm. Smells good. Mm hmm. Smells very good. I almost smell like some fruity notes. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. That's what I was going to say. Go ahead. But I also smell like cherry. You smell cherry? But that's, I mean, I know that's a fruit. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> but I was thinking more like tropical fruits mm -hmm. is what I was smelling. Okay. So when you say tropical fruit, like pineapple or yeah, pineapple or um, mango, you getting mango? Yeah, I was thinking mango, uh -huh. but yeah, but it smells good. It does. It smells very good, and I agree with you. Like it has some of those fruitier notes to it, but not like overly sweet fruit, mm -hmm. right? But just a nice fruity, yeah, fruity note can't even get it out um <laughs> but i would say i get a little hint of strawberry in there too okay mm -hmm. but and the typical caramel vanilla absolutely uh-huh 
It smells very good. It does. Cheers. Cheers. Get a, a peppery, mm -hmm. peppery taste mm -hmm. on the palate. A little bit of a, a little bit of sweetness, mm -hmm. but not overly sweetness. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That pepper, that black pepper hit immediately. Mm -hmm. um, I don't know the age on it, so I, I don't. I think it was nine age stated. Uh, I would say that if I would have to guess, you know, we were in the qualifying rounds for Matt Madness, <laughs> but we did not make it to the final, to the overall tournament. But if I would have to guess an age, I would say this may be like five to six years old, maybe seven. Mm -hmm. Um, excuse me, go ahead. No, I was just going to say this is like, if you don't like overly sweet bourbons, um, this is great because mm -hmm. this is like a happy medium. Mm -hmm. It's not overly sweet. It's not dry. It's just, it's kind of, you know, perfect. Yeah. I would say I can, I can taste those finishes, right? Mm -hmm. Like I can tell it's finished and it gives a, what I would say like a mellow, like the pepper comes up front mm -hmm. and then it kind of mellows off. And to your point, it's not super sweet, but it has some sweetness to it. Um, I get a lot of vanilla in it. As I'm tasting it, as I'm talking, I get that vanilla, I get that black pepper. I don't get a lot of caramel. Nope. Mm -hmm. Uh-uh. It's not, it's not that caramel sweetness um, that some bourbons are. But it does have that... The fruitiness is there. But if I was to think of a fruit that we named earlier, I would say like that pineapple. But it's not like the sweetness of a pineapple. It's like that when you first bite into a pineapple... You get like that. I don't know. Hmm. I'm trying to think of what <laughs> word it is. It's so hard to yeah. to to say the words. Are you gonna say something? No, I would. Well, what I was gonna say is, um, so at the back when you finish, mm -hmm. it does have a little bit of hint of dryness. Mm -hmm. um, but mm -hmm. when you first taste it, you get that pepper, mm -hmm. like Jason said. Then you get a little bit of the sweetness, and then it, it finishes off with a little bit of dryness. Yep. And a, and I would say that dryness is probably from all those different finishing barrels. Right. You know, the Mizanara, the French, the American Oak. So all three of those barrels just take the tannins from them, you know. But overall, I would say this is something that if you are just getting into bourbon or... If you're just getting into finishing mm -hmm. bourbons, this would be something that I would highly recommend. Um, if you're trying to get into bourbon, I think you would stick to bourbons because it has a lot of finishes in it that may throw your palate off if you're not used to finished bourbon. You know? What do you think? I don't know. I mm -hmm. mean, I don't... I'm not picking a lot of the finished part of it. Oh, okay, okay. Uh -huh. So, I think you can go either way. Yeah, okay. See? Well, there you go. <laughs> there you go. No, and, and I think that's the that's the benefit that we have of being two of us, right? Right. We typically have... We like certain things together, but it's other things that one may like more than the other. But it gives you all, as viewers, the opportunity to hear what both of us have to say, you know? Right. And I forgot one thing. <gasps> if you go, if you all could do us a favor <laughs> and give us a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, follow us on Instagram, and make sure that your notifications are turned on so that you are aware of when we release our next and latest video. Um, but overall, thumbs up. Thumbs up. Thumbs up. I agree. All right, you all. Well, we thank you for joining us today. The Barrel Vantage, definitely a thumbs up. We would highly recommend it. If you see it in the store, check it out. And we will talk to you next time. Cheers.